Hey, Matthew Sample, London.com, just traveling back to London. I want to show you a little sneaky uh, preview clip from uh, the Making Waves uh, documentary, that sound. You can uh, check it out on the Kickstarter below and uh, enjoy the clip of uh, how sound designers use their dogs in work like Jurassic Park and Terminator 2. Until next time, see you later. One of my favorite recordings is my dog, Freya. She's 12 years old now, and she's been in almost every movie that I've ever done. I've got a Jack Russell Terrier named Buster, who's all over the first half of my career. Now we have a dog named Chester, who's all over the second half of my career. I make sure to have my rig with me, and I'm rolling when I greet her at the door, because she gets so excited, and she has the most emotional little moans and whimpers and yelps. I was looking for the sound, and the T-1000 morphs through these metal bars. The ILM effect, which is brilliant, I don't know what it costs, but a lot. Well, feeding Buster one day, I had that cylinder of gross dog food slowly slides out of the can. And the sound effect is about 35 cents. We can take the sound of my dog Freya and process it and have that be in an emotive sound of Bumblebee in Transformers. Chester would make these sounds usually in the middle of the night, so while he was sleeping, I'd leave a recorder on to go through the recording the next morning, and every once in a while you hear this. Grrr.